Hey guys, so everyone is talking about that Comet C2023 A3. So I tried for two days in a row going live. I showed you guys the live image as well. I was actually in a school taking pictures of this Comet and in the school parking lot, I was just using my cell phone uh, for me to broadcast you folks uh, live images and i was using my um, iphone earbuds uh, to talk to the people around but also to respond some of the questions on the live chat that is coming uh, it is not perfect but at least i'm glad that i was able to show you guys some of the images uh, live images that came through this comet the c 2023 A3, a lot of people are calling Comet A3, uh, is a huge comet. It is a giant uh, comet. It is very bright. Um, I was surprised actually, you know, you can barely see it on the western part of the sky when the sun is about to set. Right after setting the sun, uh, you will actually see, you know, the same area where the sun is setting. You should see up there. It's not really small it's actually really big if you can't see it with your eyes once the sun is gone wait for like 20 minutes or so and then start taking pictures using your cell phone uh, you should be able to see a beautiful image of this comet on the uh, with the cell phone itself i mean if you do have a uh, telescope or if you have a binoculars uh, feel free to use that, like that is pretty much the right way to do it. And I'm actually showing you the live image that is coming out of this comet using uh, the sharp cap. It's connected to the camera. It came out rather fantastic. So here is basically a uh, live images that I took, like 10 seconds of each. And these are unprocessed images. And actually, you can see how the comet is moving. I did not take a whole lot of pictures, but you should be able to see the comet uh, moving in front of the stars. Uh, I just did a star alignment. I did not process the pictures. Uh, just to see if the stars are not moving, I can see the comet moving in front of the stars. Uh, that came out really great. These are 10 seconds images of a comet, and uh, this comet is uh, really bright. It actually did a sun grazing, you know, it touched the sun in, in the sense like, you know, it went closer to the sun, and then going back to wherever it came from, it is like a once, a, once in 80,000 years, this comet is going to show up. Uh, it's rather uh, surprising that that this comet actually is visible without any telescopes or binoculars you can barely see it at least on the on the western part of the sky if the moon is too bright you won't be able to see it but you should be able to see it uh, once you, once your eyes get used to the night time you should be able to see this comet uh, it is available for another 15 days uh, in the same area so this is one of the cell phone uh, pictures uh, taking pictures of a comet with a cell phone is an amazing uh, experience. All you have to do is hold the cell phone, put it in like a night mode, expose it. Um, there is a pro setting for like two seconds or three seconds. Uh, don't go beyond five. I think the picture gets distorted. Uh, but you can figure it out whether it's iPhone or Android and just take a picture using your uh, cell phone. Uh, it actually comes out bright and you can see how big the comet's tail is and how big the comet itself relative to, you know, the horizon, relative to stars, relative to the other things. It's a, uh, it's a huge comet that we are watching, uh, uh, you know, in front of our eyes. It's an amazing experience. I don't want you to guys to miss it. Here is another picture I took. Uh, this is with my kid uh, here. Um, the, he is the reason why I moved uh, from uh, Dripping Springs, the observatory place, uh, to uh, this other place. So I'm trying to figure it out, taking pictures in a parking lot in a school 
all because of this guy. Anyway, so we can see the comet right behind him and uh, having a comet uh, behind and actually you can take a picture of a kid using that in a relatively um, bright environment. Uh, it's just uh, getting closer to the sunset, right? It, and the light is failing almost, the sun is gone and using the cell phone for five seconds, if you can take a picture like that, I mean, that's something really amazing uh, that, you know, I took a picture of myself uh, with the background of the cell phone. Uh, anyway, I'm kind of shy that I wanted to show you guys. So this is a, a picture came out of the live view from the sharp cap. Uh, it automatically stacked it and you see some a bit of a star trails but the image is so fantastic. And if you zoom in uh, to this image, actually you will see a little bit of uh, star cluster on the on this side as well. Uh, it is a fantastic image uh, coming out of just a live view of it. You can see how bright the comet is. Of course, the it is a picture taken using a professional telescope and a professional astronomy camera. Uh, but still uh, taking a live picture and, you know, just uh, doing a live stack, if this is the kind of a picture it is coming out, uh, the comet is actually really bright. So, yeah, don't miss this opportunity. Uh, you should be able to see this comet, um, at least with the cell phone. So go, after, go out in the night time, uh, go out in the evening time, right after the sunset. Uh, just look on the west side right after the sunset, uh, use your cell phone. If you can't see it with your eyes, uh, you take a picture, see if you can uh, make out where the uh, comet is. It is right where the sunset, uh, like right above that, and you should be able to see it. There isn't any uh, way you can miss it. As long as you are taking a picture with the cell phone, you should see it. Just hold your phone uh, for two seconds or three seconds, and you should be able to see this comet. Anyway, that's all I have for tonight. Thank you all. Uh, clear skies.